All right, here with Jacob Couch ahead of his main event on who's number one on Friday against uh, against Gordon Ryan. Uh, promoted from the uh, uh, co-main to the main event, how are you feeling? Uh, I feel really excited, man. Um, to be to have the chance to go against Gordon is a is a chance that not a lot of people get, and is a is the chance of a lifetime. And uh, it's a it's a blessing just to be here. I feel like it's it's probably not um, un unfair to say that you're going to be counted as the, the underdog in this match. Uh, do you feel like uh, you've kind of embraced the underdog position? Like you you have something ready for him? Um, it's not about for me. It's not about uh, like thinking like that's like I'm just not gonna I'm just not gonna run from him. Uh, it's just I'm gonna come after him the whole time and try to I'm gonna try to tap him like I would everybody else. I'm not gonna put him on a different you know, pedestal when we're competing than I would put anybody else. I'm going to try to come out and tap him. Uh, the fans want to see submissions, so that's what I'm going to try to give them is submissions. Uh, I'm sure this is a, a huge experience for you to, to be able to, to face Gordon Ryan in the main event. Um, but what, what was your reaction like when you when you heard that that was the new match that Nicky was out? Well, I didn't believe it. I was like, uh, I was like, Heath, all right, no, seriously, seriously. Like, what? Who's, who's the opponent? He's like, no, Gordon. I was like, what? For real? And even now, it still hasn't really processed, I don't think, for me, that I get to be the main event against him. So uh, it feels like, it feels so surreal. It, it doesn't feel real, you know? It feels like a dream almost. It's, a, it's like if you were a kid and you, you, know, you enjoyed playing basketball and then one day you were told that you get to play against Michael Jordan one-on-one. -on -one. It's like, kind of like that for me, so. Uh, really looking forward to it. Change from a 15-minute match to a 30-minute match. Does that change your approach at all? Does that does that change how you're uh, how you're going to approach this match? Uh, no, not really for me, man. Like I said, the, the the game plan for me is just to just to come after him. Not not really uh, not really run. I don't want to I don't want to go out there and like wrestle around and and pretend to try to do takedowns and all this good stuff. I want to come after Gordon. I want to try to finish Gordon. And I, I know he, he has done the same in his career and he'll do the same with me. Gordon was really complimentary of, of you and, and your jiu-jitsu, um, kind of explaining that you have the, the kind of jiu-jitsu that, that he likes to represent himself and that you come forward or you have a 75% submission rate on who's number one. Um, did, did you kind of read, read some of his responses? How did that make you feel? Uh, it, it feels good. It, I think it would feel good uh, I think it would feel good for just about anybody to be acknowledged of, uh, acknowledged by somebody of that you know caliber of the sport and uh, with with those accolades is a uh, pretty special. He uh, obviously is who he is, you know, and has the game he has has built over time. <laughs> what? Uh, where would a, a win over Gordon Ryan put you mentally? On top of the world, exactly where everybody thinks it would. <laughs> My head would probably get a little bigger. Uh, let, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the rest of the card too. Uh, the co-main event is Mickey Galvao versus Dante Leon. Um, what are your, your takes on that match, first takes? I think it's a match made in heaven for the fans. I think they're both super explosive. They both always go for a submission. Obviously, I got Dante coming down on top. I think he's looked really sharp lately. He just had his uh, title match, uh, won a title on Grapple Fest over there in England. So uh, he looked really sharp in that one in all of his recent competitions and training. He's looked really good. So I definitely got Dante Leon in the bag. And what about the uh, the third match down, uh, Nicholas Bergali's debut against Arnaldo Madonna, his Nogi debut? I think, uh, you know, Madonna's obviously a uh, super tough competitor, but I think uh, since Nicholas is, tr is training with Gordon and him, I think he is a little too much for Madonna and comes out with a W.